Welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy XIV. And the plan for today's episode is to go through Alberta's level 15 quest, getting in deep. So let's go ahead and talk to her. And this is the Miner Guild. Flying, I've been searching high and low for you. You have a visitor and no ordinary one of that. I speak of Deep Canyon, vice foreman of Amagina and Sun's mineral concern. It seems words of your sizable hall of obsidian has reached his ears, and now he wishes to meet with you. I can only speculate as to his intentions. I'm afraid we haven't spoken much of late. Truth to be told, I've scarcely seen him. You never know it, but we used to be close. Anyway, I suggest you go and see the man. Find out what he wants of you. He's waiting by the entrance. Ooh, another lover. It's a really deep canyon. She's into the big guys. You must be flying Hawaiian. I've been waiting for you. I'm Deep Canyon, vice foreman of the concern. I must say, you're not what I was expecting. I was sure Aldebertus knew this protege would be an alamishing like every other miner this place pr produces these days. But I'll wager you're from even farther afield and that you're an adventurer, hmm? No offense, but if these parts adventurers are known for being fickle burgers who break pledges like the rest of us break bread, truth to be told, I've always wondered whether you lot are actually good for Ulda. But it seems you're not like the others. It takes more than a jobbing miner to deliver an order from the concern. I've a mind to assign you work, real work. But before I do, I'm obliged to test you. I want you to procure 10 ounces of high purity cinnabar for me. Do this and we'll talk about more lucrative undertakings. Of course, a bit of cinnabar should pose much trouble for a guild's rising star. Tis but a formality. And speaking of formalities, be sure to tell the guildmaster about your little test. She's the one in charge round here after all. I won't have it said that I'm undermining her authority. Back to Aldebretta. A test from Deep Canyon, you say? I thought as much. In case you don't know, cinnabar is the mineral used to make quicksilver. It's found in certain types of rock, and you're invariable need a slash hammer to get at it. Now, I don't mean to dampen your spirits, but contrary to what you were told, cinnabar isn't easy to find. In fact, it's known to elude even expertise miners. And here you are, tasked with procuring 10 ounces of the stuff. Safe to say this test is no more than a formality. Hmm, I may not be able to help you dig, but I can point you in the right direction. Search just outside the Sunrise Gate. The rocky outcorps thereabouts are known to yield cinnabar. Ten ounces may sound like nothing, but take it from me. You'll have to work for every one. This is a big task, but I believe you're equal to it. Okay, bring out our gathering log. We're going to search for Cinnabar, Horizon's Edge, just outside of it. And it does look like we need to get 10 total. Shouldn't be too hard. There's our first of many. And we got two in our first hall.
There we go. We got all ten, plus the level up. Now we gotta go deliver this order to Deep Canyon. Heading back to Ulda. Then back to the Miner's Guild. we go got your order i wanted 10 ounces of high purity cinnabar and not one less oh and make it quick i've got other commissions that i want to see too well well the full amount congratulations flying you passed the test seems you've got even more potential than i'd been led to believe this guild's no place for a lass of your talent i'd make you a personal assistant but sadly for you the position's not open to adventurers why because the concern only employs those whose roots were firmly planted in ulda our nation owes much of its prosperity to the Minen trade, but more and more we see outsiders growing fat off the knowledge of our forebearers. Oh, and I know full well that there are decent foreigners out there who give as much as they get yourself for one, but ultimately what belongs to you the, should stay in Ulda's hands. Of course, the current guildmaster doesn't share our way of thinking, which is something I dare say we'll need to see about correcting before long. Might be a business is good, but tis better to be short-handed than to watch outsiders make off with our wealth. But we were talking about you, flying. You proved yourself capable and the concern will have more work for you in the coming de days depend on it before i go here's some free advice for me pay more attention to the gear what you wear and wield affects how well you work even a decent pair of gloves can make a world of difference take my word for it these things cost money, this true, but what's the price of a pair of gloves compared to an untold wealth of th that lies out there waiting to be dug up? But girl, that's what. Uh, on that note, I'll be off. I don't doubt we'll meet again soon, assuming you stick with the trade long enough, that is. Certain gears grants bonuses to gathering perception and GP. A higher gathering rating improves the chances of obtaining items. Greater perception raises the probability of finding high quality items. And additional GP increases the your extracting stanima. Outfitting yourself with an eye to your objectives will increase the efficiency of your gathering endeavors. All low level stuff, don't need it. I don't want your stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and check out my character so we can see my gatherings 209, perception 209. I could probably get better mining gear. Let's see, I have a 33, 34. My armor is pretty good in the 40s, so I probably need to up upgrade these two soon. Then we have all our GP, which is good. Okay, so I came to Ulda's marketplace because I did see that we needed an upgrade for our pickaxe and our sledgehammer. So we're gonna talk to Yo-Yo Basa, go into land tools, 40 to 49. And then I am gonna purchase the higher one, level 48 pickaxe and then get the mithril sledgehammer. And let's go ahead and equip these items. Then make sure we save that. Our gathering perception went up 234, 232. Very nice. 
Okay, all the purchase level 15 quest is all completed. Our next episode, we are going to do the level 20 old wisdom. And with that, this will complete our episode for today. Thanks again for watching this Final Fantasy 14 episode. We will see you on the next video.